night was more sweep oriented uh, and outside zone oriented. And, um, you know, they did a good job of capping off our support players. And, uh, and then they broke a lot of tackles too, you know. So uh, uh, you can tell that, you know, they, uh, they really wanted it badly and, and they played well. I mean, uh, you know, that's, that's the name of the game. You know, uh, um, you know they played well and, and they deserve to win. Hey, Coach, uh, Matt Samuels with the Veterans Advocate. Hi, Matt. Hey, um, just did you guys know going in which quarterback to, that you'd be facing? No, we did not, you know. Um, um, but I, I don't think that that had any any bearing on everything. You know, uh, both quarterbacks are, are very, very good players. You know, one just has a little bit more experience than the other. Uh, both of them can throw the ball effectively and run the football effectively. So. Uh, it didn't really affect our game planning. You know, I just thought that they did a tremendous job of, of winning a battle up front. They, they really got after us on both sides of the ball. You know, they, uh, they made Jonathan uncomfortable in the pocket, you know, from time to time, um, you know, with, the, with their deep linemen. And, uh, and then offensively, you know, they were able to run the ball effectively. So, um, you know, they, they won a battle up front as well. Coach, to the back to your right. Coach, uh, Daniel Brown, KGS. How you doing? Um, they're in the uh, second quarter, a little over two minutes left. You guys stopped them on third down, but then they had the penalty. You decided to take it. What went into the decision making to take that penalty, and then they subsequently scored uh, on the next play? Well, there really wasn't an option, you know, to take that penalty. Um, you know that uh, it was a call that that uh, they enforced it anyway. So uh, there's really nothing that, that I could do about that situation, you know. But of course, you know, I wouldn't want to give them a, give them another play. You know, but, uh, you know, it worked out in their favor. And, uh, you know, we just didn't get off the field. Uh, Jonathan, um, just as your senior year, I mean, just, you know, taken away from tonight, I mean, just what can you say just about the turnaround in Grambling and just being able to, to play out your senior year to such success? Well, uh, it was a great senior year. Uh, it would have been better with a win, of course, but I'm just happy to be a part of the team in such a great program. Uh, thanks to Coach Fobbs and, and his staff and my teammates. Coach, in the front to your right. Coach, on Monday we talked about the slow start that y'all had, mm -hmm. and you kind of got away with, with the win at Alcorn. Mm -hmm. You started slow. Why and what type of tone do you think that set? Well, I wish I wish I could put my finger on it, you know, as the reason why we started slow uh, the last two weeks. You know, uh, uh, you can't continue to do that and think that you're going to be able to, you know, come back on on teams. You know, so um, I really don't. I really can't put my finger on it as to why we started slow. Uh, I just think that, you know, uh, they played well tonight. You know, and you, you know they're they're definitely the champions of this 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 conference. They've been number one for most of the part for the most part all year long and. Um, they had a couple of, you know, slip ups here and there, but that's the nature of this conference. You know, when you play week in, week out in this conference, you know, this conference has a lot of parity. And, um, and at some point, you know, you're going to run into a brick wall. And, uh, and I thought they did a good job of responding and, and dealing with the adversity and, and coming back from it. And now they're the champions.